Thank you, Dean Johnson. The audience will be pleased to hear that the introduction is longer than the remarks. <laughs> I have to say I've missed this view. Nothing beats a sea of caps and gowns and the collective joy of all of you reaching this wonderful milestone. Class of 2022, you did it. We applaud your tenacity. We applaud your excellence and your adaptability. You experienced the world shutting down in the face of a pandemic. You saw uprisings around the world and cries for social justice following the murder of George Floyd. You endured a historic election and political forces that increased the focus on free speech. But through this historic and challenging era of American life, you never gave up. Whether you were studying in a lecture hall or learning the ins and outs of Zoom, you persisted all the way to this great day. Through it all, you remain dedicated to learning about the pursuit of truth, justice, and the equal application of law. This couldn't be more important as our world grows increasingly diverse while also becoming increasingly polarized as well. You may know that the UC Davis School of Law is one of the only leading law schools in the nation with a majority minority faculty. The statue honoring Dr. King in the law school's lobby reminds us to live by his example to make the world a better place through mutual respect, through embracing diversity, and through justice. We're reminded of his legacy in the school's mission statement to educate socially conscious and ethical lawyers who are committed to excellence. Someone else I'm thinking of today is Cesar Chavez, the late civil rights leader and labor activist. Just a few minutes ago, I spoke, yeah, you can clap, clap for Cesar. Uh, just a few minutes ago, I spoke at the 20th annual Cesar Chavez Youth Leadership Conference on our campus. This is a definitive event for UC Davis, one that brings together hundreds of students, thousands of students, parents and community members from around California. They learn about educational opportunities, the support networks around them, and the importance of social justice. I'm confident that some of these students will follow in your footsteps, earning a law degree from UC Davis and embracing a world of opportunity. You will all go a long way and do amazing things. You will become attorneys, business leaders, educators, elected officials, and so much more. No matter what kind of law you've studied, intellectual property, family law, or land use planning, now is your opportunity to make the world a better place and to use your knowledge to correct the wrongs you see in our society. You are the ones who uplift your fields by rising to high standards of ethics and excellence. You are the ones who will use the rule of law to give voice to the voiceless. You are the ones who will stand up in fights for social justice. You are the ones who will lead the way and show how the rule of law is the underpinning of our civil society, of our freedom, and of our democracy. You have all the power to create a better tomorrow. So with the knowledge you've gained, and with this degree you've earned, I hope you use this power to help others. I remain an eternal optimist, as Dr. King was. My opinion grows even more, I'm sorry, my optimism and my ability to read a teleprompter grows even more <laughs> when I look at graduates like you. As Dr. King once said, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. So I wish you all the best as you now close one major chapter and embark on the next phase of your journey. Always keep these ideals of justice in mind, no matter what you do. Congratulations to the School of Law graduates of 2022.